What's up guys? It is me, the Don Fanatic, and welcome back to week 7. Where on earth have all of the weeks gone? Yes, week 7 of the Pokemon Premier League here against Onesie Bayonet. Now, I'm actually still waiting for him to get online. He said he'd be online two minutes ago. No, he said he'd be online in two minutes, five minutes ago. So, I'm, I'm starting to record in anticipation he'll be online any second now. But what it does give me is the time to reflect. The last two games have been solid outings for the Tottenham Hot Esper. We got the solid 4-0 against Titos. And despite losing, a very, very solid performance against Shardy. Now, since the last battle, I have indeed signed up Durant at the expense of Hitmon Lee and Aroma Tease. And you might be thinking, oh god, why did he drop your fairy? Fairy is so good. Well, Mence is no longer on my team. And in return, we do have Togekiss. Yes, I did, or Ellie proposed a trade with me. Well, Alex has lots of dragons, so obviously Salamence would have been nice uh, at stopping at least Dragonite and Hydreigon anyway. Garchomp is still a problem, so. Togekiss is a nice fairy to have in your team. It can perform so many roles so well, and that's why I decided to accept the trade. Salamence can do the same thing. Both run bulky, both get wish, um, status, move, uh, um, I think maybe Togekiss is better at the status moves, obviously, with the Serene Grace as well, but I'm not douchey enough, well, yet, to um, bring Thunder Wave Air Slash. Maybe, maybe some point, but I'm very... I wasn't worried. Now, I'm starting to settle into the nervy state. Because I'm thinking he might have prepared a Trick Room team for me. Now, if he has prepared a Trick Room team for me, Durant can sweep, or not sweep, can do a lot of damage to it. Because that means he'll be bringing Reuniclus and Bronzong. So, Durant can take them on pretty well. Um, otherwise... My team is quite fast, other than Togekiss and Empoleon. So, I'm kind of worried that... I'm kind of worried. But, let's go over the team. Someone did tell me to go to the PC while I was looking through the team, so you can see the stuff on the screen while I talk about it. So, we have got Assault Vest Raikou. This thing hits... He hasn't got a ground type other than Golem, which... If he has Trick Room, he might bring... Oh, it says K-Bro. He's now ready. Um, this thing can hit anything he has, really. Um, Hidden Power Ice for the Dragons. Shadow Ball for the Bronzong. Thunderbolt just for Stab. It also hits Luminion well. It can hit... I mean, Hidden Power Ice is going to be doing more to Dragonite anyway, but if he wants to bring in Dragonite on it. Um, yeah, I'm Assault Vest because I need the bulk. Um, so I've speed crept a potential max speed um, Garchomp, which... Um, if it's Choice Scarf, obviously it'll outspeed me, but I can't outspeed it unless I make myself Choice Scarf. So there's a problem with that. But it's okay. We can deal with it. Um, so a slight HP investment, not quite max speed investment, but there is max special attack investment. This thing can take special hits pretty well. Next up we have Choice Scarf Terrakion, because I am anticipating a Choice Scarf Hydreigon just for Alakazam. Because um, otherwise Alakazam outspeeds his whole team, apart from Choice Scarfers. Um, but that's the only way most Pokemon can outspeed Megazam anyway. But, he won't necessarily know what set I'm running, and I'll go over that in a second. But I have got Choice Scarf. Justified, it could be a nice switch on a Dark Pulse, get myself a nice plus one. Um, Close Combat just hits, ev well, just hits hard. I probably won't be using it. <sighs> I need it, it one-shots Hydreigon, easy. X-Scissor might be a more favourable move. While it doesn't one-shot, anyway, it doesn't one-shot. Um... It can hit a Bayonet on the switch. It's also there, so it's going to hit a Reuniclus if it has to. Um, but it won't be doing much, I imagine. Stone Edge might even do more. Um, I have Stone Edge for Dragons, or for Hitting Hard, and for... Um, drag no, Dragonite. Yes, Dragonite. Um, Iron Head for the Sylveon. So, that's that thing. Next up is Alakazam. Alakazam can hit his whole team for super effective damage. That's how spooky this thing is to him. Um, so it's quite important this thing doesn't die. 
iffy. I'm anticipating to lead off with this thing. I need the speed boost on it as soon as I can. Without speed investment, modest Megazam hits 170 speed, which outspeeds max speed Jolly Garchomp. This, it's just ridiculously fast. So, I'm also kind of hoping he'll lead off with a Roserade. Obviously, if he wants to try and sleep powder, I'll trace the natural cure so I can switch out and stuff, but hit him hard. Hit him hard. Um, I max defense so I can live a Shadow Sneak from Bayonet. Can't live a Sucker Punch, I don't. I don't know if I can live a Sucker Punch, but Sucker Punch is a problem if he has it, which I'm anticipating he might. But he might expect me to know that and obviously run Substitute or something. Next up is Empoleon. Um, schooled. Originally was Ice Beam, but I thought, you know what, Burns would be nice, especially if he brings Sylveon with Calm Mind. Um, I've got the Raw in case he does bring Calm Mind. Originally it was Toxic, but um, Shardy recommended Raw because Calm Mind Sylveon can kind of poop on me. Plus, uh, Empoleon can eat Specs, uh, Sylveon. Type of voices they can take. I think it's like a four-hit KO, maybe. Um, could be three after rocks. Not entirely. Can't remember my maths. Quite important, really. That I do remember my maths, but I don't. Um, flash cannon to hit it for super effective damage and stealth rocks. Because the only defogger he has is Luminion, and I don't see Luminion as much of a threat. So there's that. Togekiss, Angel of Hacks. This thing could be uh, key in taking on the dragons on Alex's team or potential dragons. Um, Typhlosion is scary, um, and I want to be able to pass a Thunder Wave off onto it. If it's Scarfed, it's not as scary, because Terrakion. Actually, Terrakion can take it on, but it has to get a clean switch. Um, if I can get Stealth Rocks up and stop Typhlosion from erupting everywhere, that's cool. And otherwise, it's pretty okay, I'd say. Tokius does a good job at stopping a lot of things he has. I do get walled a bit by Bronzong if he brings it with this. And my team in general, I think, probably doesn't deal with Bronzong too well. I haven't bought any fire moves, so uh, this might not end too well. Um, then we have Vice City, the Durant, the new signing. Um, this thing is for Sylveon. It outspeeds a lot of things on his team. Apart from Choice Scarf is actually, nothing can outspeed it. Um, Home Claws with the Lumberry. Uh, if I can get to plus one before Bayonet comes in, it's pretty much safe to say I can kill that thing relatively easily. Um... And it's thing is just to hit hard, and I'm hoping to God that Hustle does not fuck me over here so hard, but... That's the team. Alex is ready to fight. He's challenged me to the battle. Let's do this. Let's do this. Now, I'm going to lead off with Alakazam for these two main reasons. I've already said this. Or what I'm, it depends on the team, but if he has Roserade, I can trace Natural Cure if he has it. Um, two... If he, if he leads off Typhlosion, I can trace the Flash Fire. Unless he's Blaze, that would be very smart play. Um, so, I'm going to go for Music 3. I think we've won with that music in the background before. Many, or possibly the only two times. Selecting the Pokemon. This is it, guys. What has he bought? He has not got the Trick Room. This is like the T... He's got the Free Dragons. He has got Free Dragons. I'm telling you, he has the Free Dragons. Let's lead off a Spoonmon. He hasn't got Defog, unless he has Bulky D-Knight. So, Megazam is the lead here. I think Megazam is probably actually... While it hits everything hard, it probably doesn't deal with most of his team very well. You cheeky fuckboy. He has prepared so hard for Cress. He has prepared... He was saying it earlier, he's prepared for Cress, and I haven't even bought it. He didn't bring Typhlosion. It's a risky play for me not bringing Chandelure. Because, um, obviously Flash Fire. So, I'm happy that as long as he leads with anything that isn't Hydreigon. Actually, I just want, don't want him to lead with Hydreigon, but he probably will. If he does, it's it's going to be spooky. It's going to be spooky. But, Tokyus is a good switch in. So, good game. Oh, good game. Good luck. Have fun, Alex. I'm... So looking forward to this, but also not at the same time. Right, so Alakazam is the lead. What does he lead off with? Roserade, perfect. That's exactly what I hoped he would do. Um, I'm going to Mega Evolve. And there's no point in me not clicking Dazzling Gleam. Because if I trace his natural cure and he stops me from going to sleep. If he's Scarfed. If he's Scarfed. I don't, I don't know if I'll die. Alright, he stays in, which is, or do, he might not necessarily stay in, because the, 
this, but you know. Please trace natural cure. Natural cure is there, that's fine. Sludge bomb, okay. Pred predicted my switch, I think. No poison, that's fine, but now I have to switch. Right, so you're choice. You are definitely choice. So what will you go into next? Let's go into this thing. It is my assault vest user. Right, so if he switches out here, I know he's not choice scarfed. He could be expert belt, actually. And Hidden Power Ice wrecks his team so hard. Right, he withdraws, so he's not scarfed. So I could have killed him with the Psy Shock. Okay, still be on. I'm so glad I have Psy Shock on this on my uh, Zam, just in case, you know. Let's Volt Switch. He might bring in. I mean, it's fine. He might bring in the Garchomp, but the Hidden Power Ice. Alright, he stays in, which is cool. Love that choice item. Let's go straight. He might go for the Hidden Power Ground, actually. Specs hidden power ground anybody? Because he did stay in. He did stay in. We'll go into Empoleon, and if he does go for the hyper voice, we'll take it like a champ. I mean there's no reason why he shouldn't hyper voice. There's the hyper voice, so I'm glad I did go into this thing. Look at that, that's absolutely, this is bulky as hell. Yeah, this is bulky. So I'll let him set up Calm Minds all he likes. Now, do I go for the Scald? I think I'll go for the Scald because... Ugh. What do I do? Because if he switches, I can get the burn. I'm very, I'm very much expecting him to switch here. He stays it. he's got Calm Mind! Shardy, thank you so much for telling me the Calm Mind will be real. I have got raw. Can I get the burn? Can I get the burn? No burn. God damn it. He might have the hidden power ground, which is spooky, which is very spooky, but he is bulky. He is bulky, which means he might not actually have it, and if he does, I doubt he's invested. Right, let's go for the stealth rocks. That's the calm mind. Surely he knows I have Raw. And if he doesn't, the rocks are up, which means Dragonite's multi-scale is gone. Which is nice. Which means Terrakion can come in and do stuff. The only thing is, if I Raw, he has a very good matchup. Hyper Voice, that'll do nothing. That did absolutely nothing. Alright, so there's the Raw. There's the Dragonite, which is scary as hell. This thing is spooky as hell. Very tempted to go into Togekiss. He might expect that play, though. Oh, I didn't see leftovers. So if he's choice banned, this could be a problem. Or even if he's dragon dance. Outrage. Yes, the plays. Okay. It's Thunder Wave. That is choice banned Dragonite. That is choice banded Dragonite. He has bought power. He withdraws. It's a bayonet. Perfect. The paralysis is going to be lovely on this thing. Absolutely wonderful. Can stop Prankster in its tracks. Might go for Infestation. I max defense. So I'm going to go for Dazzling Gleam. I've got Roost on this thing. He can. He might even taunt. This thing, I'm pretty sure this thing gets torn, but obviously, doesn't. I'm pretty sure Ghost resists this, and it probably won't do. Oh no, it doesn't. Wow, that's a lot. Gunk shot. You evil fucker. Oh, 
Right, he survived. So I'm expecting a potential shadow sneak. Free switch into Empoleon here. Knock off the plays, the plays. Wow, that done a lot. That done a lot, a lot. This thing will not... Oh, he's paralyzed. Yes, come on. Scald crit, please, or something. Is that a crit? Oh, it just dies! <gasps> Bayonet's gone. Bayonet is gone. Now, things get scary. Roserade. I'm expecting a Giga Drain, but... Assault Vest. If he's Choice Scarf Sleep Powder, I'll be annoyed. That's that's fair to say. There's a huge Leaf Storm coming in. Oh, he's gone for the Sleep Powder! <gasps> the miss. Um, oh, no, he's not Scarfed, is he? Because... We know he's not scarfed. Let's go for Hidden Power Rise, see how much this does. Am I gonna get the KO? He's probably specially defensive. Yeah, it is. Is he gonna he hit? Oh, he hits this one, which is a shame. It's a shame, because this thing's gonna do work to his team. Is it worth me trying to get the first turn wake? I'm staying in, so is he going to Giga Drain me? He is. Okay, that's fine, because I'm a Soul Vest. Still done decent damage, to be honest. Still did pretty decent damage, which is scary. He withdraws. Please wake. Please wake. My Dragon. Stays asleep. He's leftovers, which is interesting, to say the least. I'm very tempted to let Raikou die, but hidden power. He has choice banded, which means he has choice scarf Garchomp. And now that I'm so weak, choice scarf Garchomp is spooky. You might even set up a sub here. This could potentially... No, I've just realised my error. Sylveon. That is the hottest Draco. The hottest Draco you will ever see in your whole entire life. Whoa, we ate that like an absolute monster. Jesus, this is this thing bulky? Is this bulky to live to Rakion or something? Right, he stays in. Does this thing get sucker punch? Is he about to be the most real person I have ever met? Trace that levitate. Does this thing get Sucker Punch? Let's give the Dazzling Gleam. You might expect me to expect to switch into Sylveon. In which case, he'll just Hyper Voice and kill me off. the only thing on his team that wants to take one.
He withdraws. Roserade might die. It will die. Die. So he gets a free switch into Garchomp. That's a good play. That's a very good play. Zam getting a kill. Zam picking up a kill. Now, is he gonna, if he brings in Garchomp, it's Scarfed. If he doesn't, it's not. Might bring in the D-Knight to E-Speed. Sylveon. Interesting. Interesting play. Kind of wanted to kill me off. Decent damage. That's decent damage. Very, very good damage. <sighs> so now... Duran. Just gonna go straight up Iron Head. Ah, oh, the hacks, man, the hacks. I could have home clawed that attack, and oh man, it would have been a dead Sylveon. All right, we here. That's a dead Sylveon. The hacks. Ugh, this thing is so annoying. <laughs> so he's got High Dragon left. Garchomp. Okay. So this thing is choice. This thing is choice as hell. But I'm gonna iron head just in case he isn't. Is there gonna be some revenge hacks and he misses a move? He doesn't get dragon. Oh god, he could get sword stance. If he goes for sword stance, he goes for the stone edge. Another crit. Not that it mattered anyway, but another crit. To say the least. Right this thing. I can't win now. I cannot win. Unless I play Terrakion correctly, I cannot win. He's got his three dragons left. Right, in comes Marcelo. Well, that's a dead high dragon. That is definitely a dead high dragon. The deadest of dead. Terrakion put in enormous work. <laughs> it's three versus two, but my Pokemon are asleep and weak. Now he has to go for the Stone Edge. He might have even bought Poison Jab. Here comes Garchomp. I need this thing weakened as much as possible. I'm pretty sure I can't Oko. If I could get awake with Raikou. Things would be glorious. Things would be oh so glorious. This game's gonna come right down to the wire and probably some hacks too. I'm going to have to do some calcs. I'm pretty sure that Dra Garchomp resists rock, sadly. Otherwise, I could just lock myself into Stone Edge. Because I am Jolly, because I bought Jolly to outspeed potential Scarf Hydreigon. Stone Edge hits, of course. Another crit! Another crit! Not that these Iver Stone Edge crits have mattered, of course. 
Now, a first turn wake and a Stone Edge miss would be fantastic. Please. Be awesome. You've dropped. Oh, man. That's his game. He's won. He can lock himself into Earthquake and win. Oh, the first turn wake is so clutch. <laughs> I'm not scarfed, so I can't outspeed. Oh, that's a dead Dragonite, too. You get some HP investment. It's going to be the, it's his game. It's his game. Urgh, it's so frustrating. Unless he's banded. Which he's not, because he outsped Duran, so he's scarfed, so. That's a good game, Alex. I can't win. I cannot win. I'm almost confident I cannot win. If I had the hidden power ice. If I had the hidden power ice. This game would have been oh so different. Oh so different. Right, let's go into Terrakion. Because I'm... I'm very confident that Garchomp is bulky naturally. A choice scarf. Earthquake is a guaranteed Oko. A close combat crit would win me the game. It's all I can hope for. It's all I can hope for. Oh, it's so goddamn close, this game! Ugh! I'm so goddamn close, this game. This game. Ah, oh, this goddamn game. Alex, that was an honourable battle, man. I thoroughly enjoyed that one. I thoroughly enjoyed. But honestly, that is probably my favourite battle. It's another loss I'd know. But due to Troy's slight fuck-up, and the fact Tito's cannot now reach me, I actually climbed the league after that result, so... It was tight, it was tight, you had the matchup. Sorry, I'm now talking to Alex on Skype. Post game chat, you know. <laughs> Damn paralysis on Vader. <laughs> Right, anyway, enough chit-chat. Guys, I know it's a 1-0, but we are climbing the ladder with that. And now, we have faced Fred, Shroom, Shardy, and Alex, the top four of the league. We have played them all. We have all now got players either below or at the same level as me. So, the hard games are out of the way. I didn't pick up any wins against them, but... They're done, they're dusted, it's time to move on forward. I am so happy, with, honestly, with my last three performances, despite losing two of them. I'm very happy with the way I played. But, um... Yeah, I'm happy, I'm happy with that. If you guys enjoyed this uh, video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Obviously, go check out Onesie Baynet. He is currently studying... I don't know exactly, but I know it's to do with art, um, the performing arts. He's a very good like voice actor and actor in general and stuff, so... Go check him out, he does lots of Pokemon videos too, Pokemon do, uh, Pokemon Showdown Spice, where he does, he eats spicy things and stuff with rules, so that's always entertaining. Um, so honestly, you make sure you go check him out, I'm also pretty sure he's on the road to 500 subs, so, you know, it was good. Um, I'll see you next time, bye.